250, go vroom, vroom Girl, you looking like a star, I can take you to the moon They never show me love, till they seen I got bands I'm the man, got a mask, and what's the plan when I pull up? When I pull up in the wind, baby, sing out damn When I hop out with my shawty, they be sing out damn Welcome to the FS19 mining series. I finally got everything lined up for it, and this is going to be the first episode of it. So, we are starting the episode in a truck because there is no town on the map we're on. We are out in the wilderness trying to tear up mountain country and get resources to send back to be sold essentially uh, we also work with the oil companies up here to help them with anything they need we'll, we'll lay pipe down for them we'll help with rig setups whatever else up here we can help with uh, I bought a facility it used to be an old road maintenance facility that used to maintain the old roads out here the there's another facility that does that now and I bought the old facility out, and there's still some equipment that was remaining there, so we're going to go take a look at that, and I wish my phone would quit doing that while I'm trying to record. This is our daily driver. 2006 F350 King Ranch single cab flatbed with a Lincoln Vantage 300 welder and a fuel tank. So it's just, I believe, just down this road. This isn't our bridge, this is the this is the county or whoever maintains this is bridge. Our property starts at the gate. So the gate is ours, but the bridge is not ours. And a slow gate. Well, let's take a look at what we bought for a few hundred grand. Uh, I mean like a, a lot of few hundred grand a lot of companies have invested into this project I've invested a lot of my money. I have a lot of private investors I have loans out on it, and then there have been a lot of companies that invest in it, in it. one such company being a Small farm out in Oklahoma. That's trying to Produce biodiesel. I'm also supposed to be getting funding from an auto shop so, out somewhere uh, they're just they're a small company so they're trying they're still trying to get off the ground but they do want to be a part of what we have going on here, so we're willing to include them as well, well let's get this truck parked and look at what we got here I'm gonna go park and parking spot show everyone how to park even when you're in a big truck, still in the lines. Yeah, we got a nice little work bay here. Looks like we got a dyno, but I don't see any computer equipment for it. Used to be an old tractor shop. An equipment shop. Drive through bays. We got this shop over here. This one has a hit. All right. That's going to be useful. They said the equipment should have keys in it. So, yep. Yeah. There's keys in this old cat. There ain't no juice in the battery though. That's to be expected. It's 
Everything's been sitting out here for over a year. This place has been abandoned for like three years, I think. They haven't had... Nothing's been in use for like three years over here. They haven't really done anything with anything. Everything's just kind of sat. So we're going to try to refresh that. Well, there's nothing to see in there. It's just a big open barn. Now this is interesting. Uh, forklift. And again, no battery. Now that's a nice piece of equipment. And expect an excavator to be left behind here, and that's... What are you? Cat 235. That's one big piece of equipment right there. So let's see here. Okay, so excuse that little error right there. It does... The mod does need a little bit of work, but... This is going to be the excavator I'm going to use on this one, just because as a starter excavator. It's just an awesome older excavator to start with, so... That's one way to use. That and I really like cat, so I'm a cat cat person. A cat and Cummins. Car strip to we'll talk about smaller vehicles. Supplies of some water. Somewhat self sufficient. A little back shed down here here and we have skid steer little case skid steer and would you know how it has no battery it's no battery everything around here has no battery like the juice is just gone out of everything anything in here no, it's good storage though. So this is going to be the property we operate out of. Uh, it's going to need a lot of work, definitely. We got to we got to rip some of these trees down, and they're just in the way. I have a lot of equipment being shipped in, but the thing is, is as I buy the equipment that I need, it's it slowly ships in. It, uh, it takes a while to get up here because we're way, way up north. Um, we're going to have the stuff shipped out here by barge. So, that's just the way it be sometimes, you know? I got this little shack over here. I can probably have a hand live out here. Babysit the property. I don't see nothing wrong with that. Um, if it opens. There. Yeah. You put a TV in here and a bed. Some insulation. Heater. And a toilet. It'll all be good. Except for this janky door. So I do have some equipment already ready to pick up. So we're going to head down to the base of operations for this entire region. And I go to the docks. And go pick up this equipment we, we already have shipped in. So excuse the camera angles, I cannot get like a direct behind the truck camera angle. Uh, this welder, it does this. <laughs> so yeah, it won't let me. And yes, I know there's a mod that's supposed to fix that. I've tried the mod, it conflicts with another mod I have and it breaks everything. So I don't use that mod.
sounds a bit loud. Okay, this is gonna be over in the imports department, which is on the far side. That's my stuff over there. So I'm gonna go meet with him inside, get everything arranged, and I'm gonna pick up my stuff and we'll head back to the facility and that'll be a wrap for this episode. I mean, I think it'd be good for an introductory. I'm sure everyone would agree. All right, everything is all set up. So jump back up in the truck. Snake ball ready to go. No, back over there. Pick up my stuff. So I'm gonna back in this trailer, get everything hooked up, and cut to whenever we're ready to go. All right, we're just doing a little safety check before we take off here. Everything looks good there. Tires, all good. It's just a little, a little low. We might have to adjust that. That's gonna be a problem to adjust, but I'll, I'll get it adjusted. Lights on the trailer work. Everything's strapped. Tires look good on the trailer. Lights all work on the back. Got a little our skid steer and our young R. Alright, I'm gonna get that hitch adjusted and then we'll start we'll start heading back that way. We are leaving the facility now and headed back home. Well, relatively home. I'm going to have to be sleeping in one of the offices for the night because I don't have a camper up here yet. They're still shipping my camper in. It is what it is though. Sometimes it's, things are like that. You just got to tolerate it. Beautiful lake out there. Trying to beat sundown though. I really don't want to be driving out here after dark because it gets really dark out here. There's no lighting except for your vehicle. Close. I'll go over another bridge though. Definitely gonna go in that direction. Oh, now to get out and get that gate. Ugh, it's cold out here, 40 degrees. Well, it's not cold, it's a little chilly. Just a little bit. Early spring chill. Not that bad. Alright, I gotta figure out where I wanna park you. I'm probably gonna park the trailer in there, so I need to get this unloaded. Probably gonna get unloaded on in line with that. So
got strobes on this truck to light it up. Anything I need to thing I need to do, I can light these up and shut down a lane of non-existent traffic. I need to get a plow for this truck. It's got a plow mount, so I need to get a plow for it. Uh, then I need to get all of this unloaded, so I've got a lot of work ahead of me. I'll get back to everybody when I'm done. Ramps down, and time to get this equipment off here. This is the, this is like a, basically a four-wheeler on tracks with a dump bed. It's a little heftier than a four-wheeler. But up here, if it, we get deep snow, I'll be needing something like this. I gotta figure out where I wanna put it. I guess I'm gonna put everything over here in the main shop until I know where I wanna put everything. Because I'm indecisive. Mar. Let's go get the Bobcat 751. This machine's a little bit light. It's a little bit bouncy. where she sleeps get this hydraulic deck up and park this trailer and I should be good for the night that is a fancy trailer I like that I like this trailer don't even got to get out to unhook the ramps it just drops back wall. Alright, I need to get this unhooked and everything, so I'm going to jump out of this truck here, get back out in the cold again, get that undone. Alright, trailer's unhooked, so uh, I guess I'm going to sleep, probably I'm going to probably sleep in the office over here, honestly, it's probably going to be the best place. Anywhere else is going to be a kind of a, uh, accommodations. And because these are my parking spots. That's where my truck's going to park. And that is going to do it for this video, everybody. If you like the mining series, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, comment down below, let me know what you thought of the new series, and share the video around. Uh, we've got three series now, so, I mean, it's, it's not a lot of content, but it's enough to keep somebody busy for a day when they're bored. I mean... Can't go wrong with that.